Alright, Slogmaster fans, another private screenings movie. God, how many of these do I have left? Girls After Midnight. Let's check it out. One calls a finishing school. Rich young girls like me come here to learn how to be ladies. <laughs> what we really learn is something else. It's almost dawn, and we toss and turn in our beds, dreaming of forbidden pleasures. Most of us have led secluded lives, so our imagination is fed by what we have read in books. So this woman, or this college girl, or whatever, she's fantasizing about what it's going to be like to have a husband someday. It's so nice to have a man around the house. Someone to take care of my every desire. I am so impatient with the longing. I wish he'd hurry up. Well, she's all hot to trot, but dude just wants to go to sleep. Stupid ass. How can he resist me? I'll look for someone else this very night. So that's her plan now. She's going to wander out and look for another man to sleep with. So she goes up into the attic of whatever building they're in to hang her panties on a line like laundry. Well, she doesn't realize that there are three naked men standing behind her. Her prayers have been answered. Well, I can't show you much of anything, but she basically takes turns with them and they all sleep with her up there. So the girls are having this nude pillow fight in their room. Yes, those things happen. And then she, the headmistress leads her man to go check on them. Of course, the girls somehow know that she's coming, and by the time she gets there, they've all gotten back into bed. I wish I could have shown you that nude pillow fight. It was awesome. This lovely lady decides that she's going to read a book. So naturally, before she sits down to read the book, she takes off all of her clothes so she can sit and read the book naked. Later on, she says she's fantasizing about being a whore. I can't show you much more than this. But a realization occurs. Oh well, perhaps being a whore could be a bore. Sort of like a visit to the dentist. Where does it hurt? No private screenings movie would be complete without some lesbians. This woman's with a photographer who likes her a lot. sensitive to all a woman's needs. Back to our lesbians again. I don't even know who these girls are. Another story from another girl. I have a friend who likes to go to the movies alone. I used to wonder why. <laughs> Finally, she told me. She eventually does take dude to the bedroom. While the girls sleep, they're about to be visited by a completely naked man climbing up their building. The but they're going to be aware of it. Hey, did you hear that? Listen, girls. I think someone is climbing up the wall outside. Let's hope it's a man. Finally, the dude arrives. And even though they wanted a man, she bashes him in the head with it. But don't worry. They'll wake him up. I didn't mean to hit him that hard. Anyway, they make him play this weird game where he is blindfolded and he has to feel for the right girl. He eventually sleeps with this girl named Michelle in front of everybody else. While Michelle is sleeping with the dude, she tells a story to herself about how she serviced an entire band once. So one dude leaves, and the next guy goes. They basically take turns with Michelle. And the band keeps playing. 
I can't show you much of their antics, but they all take turns. But what about the drummer, you say? Well, yeah, drummer gets Michelle, too. The last scene in the movie has absolutely nothing to do with the movie. It's just a completely nude woman jumping rope. I had to zoom in here and move to the left so I could not show you what I can't show you, but it's a hell of a scene. All right, let's talk about Girls After Midnight. Boy, this is the quintessential private screenings movie, man. These fucking movies, man. Um, They're just chock full of nudity, as all the private screenings movies are. But this one, this one's even more so. I mean, there's no fucking plot in this movie. Almost literally no plot. Um, there's a bunch of girls at a girls' school, and then we kind of see a bunch of sex scenes come out. Now, again, there's no hardcore sex in these things. Just like all these other uh, early 70s German romps, there's full frontal nudity from these women bouncing around, doing whatever. This one has a lot of penis in it, too. There's a lot of naked men in this movie. Basically, every man who you see gets naked, and they see their, their butt. We see their dick. We see everything flopping around. And again, there's no plot here. Um, we just see... It's like one sex scene from another. It, it, I guess it's kind of floating around this... Uh, revolving around this... Um, this girl's school, which does feature a naked pillow fight, by the way. So, those things do happen. And... Um, um, there's this naked guy who, who, this guy comes up to the school and he, I guess he wants to have sex with some of the girls inside. So he undresses outside in the middle of the night, takes off all his clothes, and then he climbs up the building naked. And then it, they, they, the girls hear him and eventually he comes into the window and they hit him with a vase. And they're all like, what did you do that for? He wanted us and we knocked him out. I know how to wake him up. They wake him up and then he's like, okay, uh, who should I have sex with? And he picks one, uh, like he's blindfolded. I don't know. He has sex with him and, with this girl named Michelle in front of everybody else. And they're all jealous because Michelle got him and, and, and nobody else did. There And then this Michelle's like, oh boy, they think there's something. But I, I've taken care of a whole band at one point. Then she... We see a scene with her uh, servicing this entire uh, pop band or something, not, or I don't know, uh, drums and horns and everything. One at a time, these guys go in and have sex with. There's just sex, sex, sex. And this movie, like I said, this movie's dirty. Um, again, no hardcore stuff here. Obviously, there's no erections. Uh, lots of penis though. Um, but there's a lot of vagina. I mean, there's a lot of like full-on close-up of like vaginal lips. You don't see that in movies like this, really. I mean, you only see stuff like that in, in pornography, which this is not by any means. But there's a lot of close-ups of vaginas in this movie. Um, which, hey, as, as a red-blooded American male, that's great. I like vaginas. I'm just kind of very shocked to see it. Just, and there's just this weird thing like, the, first of all, you see the guys, they get naked. Their, their dicks are completely flaccid, obviously. And then like two seconds later, they're on top of the woman humping her, which doesn't work. You have to have an erection. They don't have erection. And then there's this bizarre scene, which I couldn't show you. This woman, this teacher, was having sex with her boyfriend on the bed. And then she'd be, like, riding him. And then she'd hop off him, get to the back of the bed, climb up, and then jump on top of his crotch and allegedly jump right on top of his dick. Which doesn't... That doesn't work! Uh, but she did that, like, three or four times. Oh, what a movie. Anyway, this is private screenings. Now, this is not available on DVD. Um, uh, it's, uh, this is what the pre-recorded VHS looks like, which I have, and I made some homemade box art from this. It is, uh, the original title was like Machten, Frocken, Gaga, Gaga. I don't know. It's some German title. Yeah, not available on DVD in any country that I can, that I can find out. Um, so that's obviously the Americanized title here, starring Esther Struder and Struder and Monica Callan. This was directed by Erwin C. Dietrich, who did a lot of these titty movies back in the early 70s in Germany. And I have a lot of them as well. Bless his heart. So, but anyway, this one's a dirty one. Now, this was available on VHS, because like I said, I had the VHS from Private Screenings. I looked for it on Amazon, and I couldn't find it listed there, so I can't leave a link down below. But if you look on eBay, I'm sure it pops up periodically, and you'll probably pay about 20, 25 bucks for it, because that's usually what these Private Screenings movies go for right now. So, but anyway, I'm glad I have the movie. What a movie it is. Anybody ever seen this? No, you haven't. But anyway, check it out if you have, or find it if you can, because it's... Oh, does anybody have the same opinion that I have about this? I don't know. I hope so. Anyway, check it out. Leave some comments. Girls After Midnight. Watch it. Bye.